Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And this morning I'm outside. It's carrot planting day and it's quite chilly out here. It's actually now as the sun comes up a little higher, it's starting to um, warm up just a little bit, but I still see my breath blowing out here. So I, e I even have a, um, a mask in my pocket. I had the mask on because it was just so cool that the cool air was literally burning my nostrils. <laughs> it was so cool. So I had to go and grab a mask and put the mask on. So I'm just not breathing in that real, real cool, cool, cool air this morning, right? Not trying to get a cold. <laughs> Got work to do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get my beds together. And I thought I'd just share with you what I'm doing. Now, this is my fall planting of carrots and I am going to do two beds of carrots now the bed that is right here is the bed that I planted the turnips in and the second bed back here that's the bed that we harvested our sweet potatoes from and because it was so rich in organic matter I was literally saving that bed for um, my garlic cloves because the, the the bed is just perfect for garlic right it's loaded with organic material and i'm debating right now if i'm going to just go ahead now since the bed is ready and put my carrots in or am i gonna just take the time to get this other bed that my onions came out of that is full of grass and clean it out and then plant in that because I could always amend that bed to um, put my garlic in because I mean it's still a, a rich bed I can always add some of the Kellogg's if I wanted to and add plenty of compost to that bed to be able to make it ready for the garlic but this bed right here where the green scoop is that bed is ready for some garlic I don't know. I ain't gonna take no chances. I'm putting that garlic right there. <laughs> that bed is ready for that garlic, right? And then in my pocket, I hope I don't lose them. I also have, I lost one already. I know I have. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. I uh, got three seeds of the early prolific straight neck squash that I'm gonna plant in a container. And I got some golden zucchini seeds. I just grabbed a few right here, right? This is H's October. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna put it in these containers, but I'm gonna put them in my greenhouse. They are early varieties. Uh, I think it's uh, 35, 40 days from seed to harvest. And my greenhouse is pretty, pretty warm. So we'll see what happens, right? And there are like the door, I could open the door in the daytime and let some pollinators in. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna try to grow them in a container. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bed ready. As you know, this was another bed that we harvested onions from, red onions to be exact. And I actually still have a few down in this bed. Yeah, and I'm just gonna take it and pluck it back down in the corners, in the corner of this bed. And I'm just gonna leave it there to overwinter. That's all I'm gonna do, it'll be fine. Yeah. Put my gloves back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, get to amending this bed. Yes, I am. I borrowed Mr. H's gloves. <laughs> I got them. I don't think he know I got them, but I got them. Cause these are good for the garden. Look at them green fingers and they got that rubbery material. <laughs> So I borrowed his gloves today. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get to amending. First thing I'm gonna do is get in some black cow, cow manure, okay? I have some older bags here. that are already open. Where's my rake? I bet my rake way over there. I 
left my knife inside. That's all right. This shovel will do. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get that in this bed here. I love using... I love using this composted manure and it does have a mixture of cow manure and sand. It's a perfect mixture and I love using this. <laughs> These bags are open and check this out. They got worms in them, look at there. Can y'all see them worms? Let me see, look at them worms. In the bag. Perfect. Come on bud, let me buy man. Oh wow, this one is loaded with worms. Look at all them worms. I'll take, oh, look at you. Y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Sorry, y'all. I'm not gonna edit. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this or not. And I know, like, why are you so excited about this, Mrs. H? You would have to be a gardener to understand. <laughs> but y'all look, this whole thing right here. This is a glob of worms right here. This is just a glob. Look, it's just a glob of worms. So I guess the key here is to uh, poke some holes in the bottom of your compost bag, sit it on the ground, and watch what happens next. <laughs> I'm gonna dump this one out too. So I can get to it. All right, I don't see worms so far in this one. Nope. But that's okay. I got plenty of worms in here. All right, I'm gonna bag you all up again. There we go. Just want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing out here in this bed. Okay? Let's get y'all back some more. There we go. All right. So, I know a lot of you all can appreciate the fact that I don't edit as much as I used to. So hopefully you'll understand when I say I gotta run across the garden to get my rake. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come this way. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So now all I'm gonna do is just kinda move this around a bit. And I'm actually gonna have to go and get a few more bags of this, I think. Maybe one. Well, maybe not. not to uh, hurt my 
worms in here as I push this back and forth in this bed. So actually you all, I think I am gonna need, well probably not, this might be okay. This may be fine. All right, now what I'm gonna do, and I need my fork for this. This is about a five gallon bucket of perlite. I'm gonna dump it all in here. All right. And actually what I need for this, I apologize for not having my tools together, but really what I need for this is my pitchfork to kind of turn this in just like so i'm just gonna turn it all over wow what is that grass I actually need my pitchfork. I see you hiding from me. Y'all, I'm telling you, <laughs> running back and forth for this camera. <laughs> I'm getting my exercise in this morning. So now I just take my pitchfork and I go down and I lift and I fluff that up like so. And this just makes it easy for me because you can see the depth of the, the tines on here, right? So if I can get this all the way down without a problem, I know my carrots will do just fine. And as you can see, it's going down with no problem. Now just come back and just lift. Fluff that like so. So I'm showing you all like the entire process without any editing. Wow. So you can see. Okay. Let's get y'all out of here. So you can see that this is what I do. I don't know where you went. Oh, that's nice and fluffy. My feet sank. Look at that. Oops, I almost dropped him. Look at him. And him. Yeah. See? This chicken food. All right. Spread that around some more. All right, bagging up.
there are some uh, grass roots down here, but that's okay. I can just grab them and pull them up and pull them out if I want to, but for the most part, I don't really worry about it so much. I just want the soil to be nice and loose and broken up. As you can see, I'm not using a tiller of any kind. And look at how soft that is. Look at my feet, how soft that is. All right. And so this fork is serving as my tiller. All right, this is wonderful. I'm not running into very many problems here. Just a few roots. And I'm done. I don't know how long that took, but I'm done with that part. Now, oh man, this is the importance of why people edit, but at the same time, <laughs> I want y'all to see. I forgot my fertilizer. <laughs> I'll be right back.
ran. All right. Now y'all can see why I edit. <laughs> I forget so much. Now I'm hot. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed the beautiful sounds of nature. Man. Okay. Whew. I ran over there and I ran back with these bags. Okay. All right, I'm ready. So, <laughs> I had a little bag of warm castings left over. And uh, uh, I don't know why I brought it over here. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> but I did get my bone meal right here. And what I'm gonna do is just kinda be very uh, liberal with my bone meal. And my bone meal is in the form of granules. It's not the powder, it's the granule. So, I'm just going to uh, be very liberal with how I put this down. Okay. Just gonna put all of it out here actually. Then I'm going to grab my rake and I'm going to rake all of that in just like so. Come on, I'll break up for me. I'm going to try to get this bed as smooth as I possibly can. Now, You don't use blood meal when you're planting your carrots, okay? You don't need that right now. You don't need it right now. What I would say is wait until your carrots sprout. And then after they sprout, oh, if you want to give them a top dressing of like uh, liquid nitrogen, like some fish emulsion, you can water them in with that, you know, maybe about four weeks or so in. But right now, it's not necessary. Where's all this paper coming from? Right now, it's not necessary. I'm just trying to smooth this out right now. Look at this big old rock. Where's this stuff coming from? Unless, <laughs> I hope it ain't in the bag. <laughs> Thinking I'm buying some fertilizer or some cow manure and I'm getting some rocks. <laughs> No, nah, it was already in here. I could tell by the dirt all over. Well, I don't know. Because <laughs> it's all looking like dirt. Ugh. All right, so. Is that some more paper? It is. All right. Worms are bouncing everywhere. I'm sorry, y'all. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna leave y'all alone here in just a second. So when I don't edit, you get to see exactly what my ripping and running look like. Now 
trees are sticking up and they won't leave me alone, so I'm gonna pull them out of here. So now what I'm going to do, now that I have my bed, it's not perfectly smooth, it is perfectly imperfect, just like me. All right. Now what I'm going to do, you all, that I have the bed ready for planting. It's ready now, ready, set. This is what I do. Y'all, I'm getting hot. Okay, I have my board here. Whoop. I take my board and I put it down, bring y'all closer so you can see what I mean and move these bags out the way and take those to the trash. Come close. Don't be afraid. <laughs> All right, so now I take my board. I got my board down here. And this is the board. It's right up against the edge of my bed. And I'm just going to roll it over like so. And then I use my board make it my little indention then I lay it flat then I roll it on over again all right probably don't have to roll it over so many times but I do yeah I do because you know then I just go back and forth and that digs my little trenches for me I'm always finding new ways to make things easy <laughs> for myself. Press it down and go back and forth. Why don't I just use a hoe to do this or another tool like I used to do? Because I can never get them as straight as I want it to. So at least this way, I feel like it's helping me to get them a little bit straighter than I normally would. You ain't got to do this. <laughs> Come on the other side here. Now that I have my trenches somewhat dug, more paper. Oh, little worm, I'm sorry. Did I rub you the wrong way? All right, y'all, so now I'm ready. So this is what I'm planting. Get out of there. Don't even think about it. All right, now, what I'm getting ready to plant here Y'all, I'm hot now. Oh, they didn't got wet too. Whew, I'm getting ready to plant some mokum carrots, some new corotas, and I'm also gonna plant, what is this? Yeah. Some black nebulas, all right? The mochums are a very early variety of carrot. I think these are like 54 days, something like that. And these came from Johnny Seeds. So if you're looking for an early variety of carrots, it is a hybrid. Mochum is, is a good choice, okay? 
Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead now and just drop some in my hands. And um, go ahead and start planting. So in this bed right here is going to be Mocha and Black Nebula. I'm just going to go down the row and just sprinkle a few right on down this row. Yeah. That's the first row done. I'm going to keep going. I don't know. I may do this entire bed of uh, mocum. Since I've got plenty of seed to do it with. I may do the entire bed. I am going to have to put the... Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I was just about to say it. I'm going to have to put some wire down in this bed to keep my nosy kitties out of here. Because otherwise, they might want to come in and use this as their litter box. They may want to come and hunt for voles or something. Grizz and Moo might want to come and make it a bed. It's so peaceful out here in the morning. Everything is so nice and still. And quiet almost And I like using that board because it gives me a, um, a flat surface, I guess. And I can actually see where my seeds are landing. I can actually see the seeds. <laughs> so I like using, doing it this way because I can see where I'm planting the seeds. Am I gonna have to thin these out? Yeah, let me buy a bud. I'm gonna have to thin them out and maybe harvest them early, you know, smaller ones, then the larger ones. Yeah, that's three rows already planted. I don't know. I'm going to keep going with these. 
since this is an early variety, I'm just going to keep going with them. There are worms everywhere and I'm loving it. actually liking using that wood because even when I can't uh, when I take my eyes off of where I planted the seed where I stopped at because it's so flat I can still see the seeds I can see where I left off may I help you may I help you pinguini I don't want y'all in my bed you understand you understand Now I gotta cross over. You wanna go with me? Come on, cause I don't want no problem. What you doing? I see you. All right, y'all. So I've done the first four rows over there. Now I'm gonna wrap up the three over here. Don't you jump up there. Had this conversation. Hey, how you doing? I know, I know. You like my company. Kind of hard to plant. <laughs> kind of hard to plant if you're gonna be hanging around up there. Don't jump in there. No. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ah! Get out of there! No, 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 no! Get! Ugh. Y'all, I'm almost done. No.
All right, so I am just about out of these. Actually, I am out of these now. Little boy, move. <laughs> Did I say get out the way? All right, so this is where those are going to stop. Come on. This is probably the longest carrot video <laughs> you have ever watched in your life, right? So what I'm gonna do, so Pinguini won't leave me alone. He, uh, he wants to hang out with me. So we're gonna, we're gonna hang out with Pinguini. <laughs> so yeah, how you doing? You won't leave me alone. You won't let me plant my carrots. All right, y'all, so let me go ahead now. And instead of completing this row with any of these, I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish it out. I have some Nantes, I think I do. Yeah, I got some in here. All right, I'm gonna finish, ah, 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 move. <laughs> if you don't get out the way. All right, I'm gonna finish this bed out with the Nancy carrot. Come on. So I'm gonna just finish it out here with the Nancy's. Little boy. You know, you're making this difficult. <laughs> What's with you this morning? What's Tank on E. Your love tank on E. I got it. Hold on. All right. Good, good, good. We're done. We are done. All right. Come on, go with me. Whew. Come on, go with me. <laughs> You are something else. All right, let's get these put up. Okay, y'all. Now, put those back in my little baggie. I'm going to bag y'all up so y'all can see. All right, y'all. So now, that's what I have done. I left that paper over there. I can do it. I can do it. All right. So now you all, now that I have gotten all of these planted in this bed, there's only a couple of things left for me to do here. And uh, this poor little worm, the only thing that's really left for me to do here is to cover these seeds up and water them in very, very well, okay? So I'm gonna do that now because I'm, I'm going through the whole process here. All right, so now that I have my beds, I'm just gonna take my rake and just push the dirt over that little area where, ah, 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 ah. You're not making no messes over here. Here's a love tank, it's on E. <laughs> His love tank is on E. So that's why he's right up under me. Mm -hmm, I get it. I, I understand. Sometimes you just need a little love. I get it. 
I get it. But you know, we got those around here. And if you really want to impress me, you'll go grab me a few. Okie dokie. All right. So I'm going to push the dirt over these. Nothing spectacular. That dirt that I separated, I'm just pushing it back over is all. You see how I'm doing it? Just covering it back up. And if you got to grab some from somewhere else, that's fine. Just covering it back up. What do you see down there? Gonna tap that down now. Should be all good. Just making sure I mash those seeds in. Not too tight and not too hard. I'm not like packing them in, packing them in. Will you tell like the way, little one? But I'm just tamping down the soil just a bit. Yeah. This should be good. Excellent right there. And now I'm gonna hit these babies with some water. I gotta grab my water hose. <laughs> I told you. No editing. All right, hey! See? Y'all not gonna do right today. I can see that right now. Beat it, beat it. Just watering them in real good. That's all I'm doing. What's holding up my water hose?
what I'm going to do is give that a an opportunity to, um, now my bed wet. <laughs> I'm going to, my chair wet. So I'm just going to give that an opportunity to the water to settle down, to soak down. And I'm going to water them one more time. Yeah, I'm going to water them in real good. Probably two more times, actually. And um, once I do that, I have some black plastic. I'm not going to make y'all wait for me to go and get that plastic. Because, yep, I forgot that, too. <laughs> oh, I tell you. But anyway, I'm going to get the black plastic that I have. I, I used it last, uh, last year as well. And um, I'll put this black plastic down over this. And I'll use the boards that you saw me using to cover, to hold that plastic down in place and i'll check on them every two to three days be you know just to check for germination because once they start to germinate you gotta remove that plastic right because if you don't you all that plastic can get hot it could burn them you can lose them okay you can lose them if you don't remove that plastic in time you can use um i think some people use um there we go I think some people use, um, uh, what is that? Cardboard or boards and I use different material to hold down the, to keep the moisture in is what you're trying to do. So, cause you don't want these seeds to dry out at all. So a lot of people use different things, but I actually am using the same black plastic that I've been using. You could buy it on a roll from Home Depot um, over like where tarps and stuff are located. You can find them there, find the rolls there, and you can get the size that you need. And the roll that we have, we, uh, we've had this roll for two years, two and a half years, something like that. We've had it for a long time. So once you buy it, you really don't have to worry about buying it again because all we do is take the same sheet that we've been using and we fold it up and we put it in the barn. So I got to go in the barn and get it out of there. But that's what I'm going to use to cover up this bed. And then I'm going to move down to the other bed and start getting it cleaned out so that I can get my black nebula and my Corota carrots planted. But I just went ahead and planted all of those seeds since it was an early variety. Why not get some carrots in 53 days versus uh, 65, 75 days, right? So, but that's going to do it, you all. I've held you on this video for an hour of you watching me run back and forth. What it's like when you don't edit. <laughs> I forget stuff and I have to go, oh, I forgot something. I got to go run back and get it, right? So, you all, that's going to do it for this video of how I get my carrots in for the fall. You don't want to put your carrot seeds in when it's too hot, y'all. You don't want to do that because they can't stand that heat. So right now, this is a great time to plant your winter crops. Great time to get your collards in and any kind of mustard green is a good time to get them in. You know, we don't plant mustards here because we don't eat them, but it's a good time to get those things in, right? Your kales and your chards, all of that stuff can handle cold weather. So if you eat that, this is when you want to get it planted, okay? All right, y'all, I still have another bed to do out here, two actually, because I got to get these ready for the onions as well. So y'all, that's going to do it. Thank y'all so much for joining me for one hour, <laughs> the longest carrot planting video in the history of carrot planting videos, Homestead Heart has done it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. See what you get when you say, Mrs. H, I, I like it when you don't edit. This is what happens when I don't edit. <laughs>